Hello everybody, Dumbzuck01, Roanukeji here, and yes, uh, once again, I was expecting to upload a different video tonight, but, once again, we've, re we've released a trailer to something new. Okay, so I was just on Best in, well, just watching Best in Sort stream, where he was watching some Facebook thing, I don't know, who uses Facebook these days, and... Apparently, there was some kind of a trailer shown for, for, for a new game just called Aftermath. Now, apparently, this, this was teased uh, yesterday, I think. It was either yesterday or the day before on a box for a VR headset, I think. So, as far as we know, this game might be exclusive to VR. So, in that case, I won't be able to play it. But, as far as we know... It still might be able to be playable on devices like PS4 or Xbox. Well, not PS4 because the next generation is coming in. So it's really, it's really PS5 and whatever the hell Xbox called theirs. Okay, so the trailer is up. It's been up for about 14 minutes. But only 141 views. That isn't that good for a really big franchise like Jurassic. But anyways, I believe we should just I believe we should just make this video short and cut straight to the chase and watch the trailer. And also I apologize if the camera quality isn't that good. It's because I'm using my camera which is which is ah, I'm using my camera which is built into my laptop, so as you can predict the quality pro probably won't be that good for me. But here's the trailer. I've only seen like the first five seconds to see if it was actually real, and and I was thinking if I should and I was thinking if I should record it or not. Well, here I am recording it, so I think we should just. I, I believe we should just start. So, away we go. I've never heard of this company. Before. Okay, so it takes place on Eastern Nubla. Captured on PC. So it's gonna be on PC. Ooh, I like that shot. I like this art style. So there's a raptor. Blue? Ooh, it's like a horror game. Oh. Ooh. Not blue, so this is the case of Type B. Jurassic World Aftermath. Is there anything else? Coming soon, Coast Link Universal Oculus. If I reality quest to, yeah, 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 stop trying to make me buy something. So, how about we just mute the video and go through this? Okay, so of course we have little compies here, and what seems to be, of course, a broken down build. Well, a run down building. This part could either, of course, be in t be in Jurassic World, or maybe on Site B, because this might be on Site B because of a raptor, because Blue was the only raptor that was left on Nublar. Okay, so we have Coast Link. I've never heard of him before. We then have the Jurassic World Jeep. Well, a Jurassic World Jeep or car or something. I don't know. I don't know my cars. Tossed onto its side in, in a broken down, well, in a run down Jurassic World. So, so this part obviously takes place on Eastern Nublar Jurassic World before Fallen Kingdom takes place. Okay, so just wait on me for a second. Okay, now this shot is actually quite interesting to me. So, this seems to be a raptor, but for some reason it seems it looks way too small. To, it looks way too small to me to make it be an actual be a velociraptor. But who knows? I'm probably talking out on my backside here. But then we have this pteranodon. 
I don't believe we've had a blue Pteranodon in the franchise before. Because, yeah, we've had the red ones, we've had the ones from JP3, which I can't describe the colour of. Were the ones in Jurassic World red, or, or were those ones in Jurassic Park 3? I don't know, it doesn't matter. The point is, this is a new, this is a turn it on which I don't recognize, and I really like the design of it. Also, can I just mention that I really like this art style. Now, it really reminds me of Jurassic Park the game, the game by, the game by Telltale, if you, lot, if, you, if you lot remember that. I do, because of how dreadful that game was. Uh, thank god I never bought that game. Okay, moving on. Okay. And, and I presume this is where the raptor snarl rod was. Okay, so here we are, running underneath the... A table. <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling with my words today. Now, I believe this part takes place on Site B, because it's obvious just looking at the legs alone, this isn't blue. So in that case, this has to be one of the raptors on Site B. I've had another idea, but I can talk about that later. Because this really looks like the fem female raptor from Jurassic Park 3, you, you, you know the egg coloured one that that would go along with the males and which took the egg at the end. Just looking at the feet here really remind me of that raptor. Okay, move. Actually no, I was gonna mention something. Thinking about it, this game, depending on when it gets released, might take place after Dominion. Just hear me out here. Because, yeah, this does remind me of a female raptor, but it doesn't, d d from what I remember, it doesn't look like it 100%. So maybe this game takes place after Jurassic World Dominion, and maybe in Jurassic World Dominion they clone new raptors, and maybe this is one of those new raptors. Okay, there's nothing wrong with theorizing. So, oh, just hold on a second. We had a clear shot of it for, for like a millisecond. It's green? Wait, what? I take back what I said about the female raptor. Because this looks to be the same raptor because it still has the relatively egg colored feet along with the dark bits. But it's green? Okay. This 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 can't take place in Jurassic Squad, of course, because of because this isn't any of Raptor Squad. This can't take place on site B because it's green. So this probably takes place from on the mainland because we have a new raptor. And another thing to notice is that the power is on. So if this was Site B, the power wouldn't be on unless you, unless maybe you turned the power on yourself. But the point is, my theory here is that this part of the game takes place on the mainland. And this raptor is like a new clone that somebody in the Jurassic Universe cloned. Maybe Dr. Wu, maybe somebody else. Okay, so, ha, this part, this is where it rips off Alien Isolation. <laughs> a much, what, what seems to be a much better game. Because for you sort who don't know, in Alien Isolation, it was a horror game where you were stuck in the spaceship with an alien, and you had the ability to hide in cupboards from the alien. This is 
this is obviously the same mechanic, but it's just in the Jurassic style. I yes, even though I do like the art style, I would have I would have really have liked it if they had gotten the people who made I Alien Isolation to to make this game because then you'd be hiding from a realistic velociraptor because this is a, this is a horror game. We haven't had a Jurassic World horror game, or Jurassic Park horror game. This is the first of its kind in the franchise. So... I really would have liked it if they had gone with people to make Alien Isolation, because, obviously because of Alien Isolation, we've already done it in the past, it's already been successful in the past, and they already made a good game in the past. So... So those people could have just taken in Alien Isolation and put a Jurassic coat over it. Now I'd probably be happy. But this is made by a different company. At least I think this is a different company. And it's a different art style. So I so so I do think you, you might lose a little bit of that horror aspect. Because due to how cartoony it looks Meanwhile, Mimo and Alien Isolation, it was very realistic. Anyways, moving on. Oh, 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 here. What are these gloves? Who is this? <laughs> is this a person from the future? <laughs> of course. It's connected to Primeval. <laughs> I am not funny. So here, so yeah, this is the same raptor. It has the green on the back. Okay, I believe that's it. Yeah, then we have it. Jurassic World Aftermath. My question is, what is the Aftermath referring to? Aftermath could be, could, could be referring to many different things. It could be referring to the fall of Jurassic World. And maybe the events of this game might take place because of what happened at Jurassic World. Or maybe this is... Maybe this takes place after Jurassic World Dominion. And maybe the aftermath bit is referring to Jurassic World Dominion. I'm just theorizing here. I'm talking down my backside. <laughs> so. That was the trailer for Jurassic World Aftermath. I like the look of it. Yeah, again, if you couldn't tell, I'm a Jurassic World fan. So, of course, I will probably be excited for something. But it hasn't been announced if this thing isn't a exclusive. Because as far as we know, this could be a exclusive to, to the Oculus Rift, and it could very much be VR. But something I would really like to point out is that at some point in the beginning, it said something like, this footage was captured on a PC. So, it's obvious that in some way, shape or form, this game is built to be imported on a PC. But either A, it could, it could just be like that so they could make the game, or B, the game could be on the Oculus Rift and PC. Now, my only hope is, is that it goes to consoles, because I am primarily a console user myself. I do occasionally play PC games, but I don't really touch them. But, I like the look of it. To my knowledge, we've never really had a Jurassic World horror game before. And this really is the first of its kind. My thought going in my thoughts going into it is that it would be a survivor game much like Jurassic Park Trespasser and Jurassic World and the unreleased Jurassic World Survivor. But no, it seems to be a it seems to be more like Alien Isolation. Which I'll keep on talking about because first off, it's a really good game. I mean it's a really good game, it's horrifying. And the AI that they used in the game is fantastic. 
has done right some of the best AI I've seen in a game, period. Uh, my only hope, just, I really would have liked it if, if they had gotten the people who made A in isolation and got them to make this. But hey, I need to stay, I need to stay optimistic. As far as we know, it could be better than Alien Isolation. Hmm? So, I believe this is all I have to say. <laughs> I, 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 I like the look of it. And I'll probably cover it again for ends up being another trailer. But, uh, besides that, I guess we do have Tom Cretaceous coming out later this week. So... So the latter half of this week is going to be really busy for me. <laughs> so now I believe that is all I have to say. <laughs> I have made a one minute trailer into nearly 20 minutes. How do I do this? So thank you all so much for watching. And here isn't Tom601 Roar the Victory! <gasps> ah!